Today we're going to be going over our predictions for the November 22nd All-Star Wrestling Classic. So this is the bout order, but one thing to note is that Real Woods got injured, so he'll be replaced by Andrew Liris. So first off is Pat McKee versus Brandon Courtney. Now McKee has a 58 and 24 career record, is a two-time All-American, and he took third in 2021 and fifth in 2022, while Brandon Courtney has a 78 and 21 record, is a two-time All-American, and took second in 2021 and then sixth in 2022. So these guys, they have wrestled before once and it was in the 5th place match in 2022 at the NCAA tournament when Brandon Courtney lost to Pat McKee 8-3. So I think it will probably be the same result again as McKee was able to take down Courtney I believe 3 times in that match. So expect him to win here by a good margin, I would say 4-1 or 5-2. Next at 133 is Lucas Bird versus Michael McGee. So Bird has a 44-9 record, a two-time All-American and took 5th in 2021 and 2022, and he's a 4th year sophomore, while Michael McGee is a 99-24 record, two-time All-American, took 6th in 2021 and 4th in 2022, and he's a 6th year senior. So although Bird has a lower placing in the NCAA tournament as he got 5th while McGee got 4th, the last time they wrestled was in the 5th place match at 2021 with Bird winning by fall. He was dominating that match as he was up 11 to 3. So I think if they did wrestle, Bird just wins just simply based off his ability to get takedowns and his style against Michael McGee. I expect him to win here 8 to 6, 8 to 5. Next is Andrew Lirez versus Cole Matthews. And these guys have never wrestled before in NCAA wrestling, but they have wrestled in freestyle, uh, with Cole Matthews losing to Andrew Lirez by technical fall. But in NCAA, Aliris is 2-2 against common opponents like Joseph Zargo and Real Woods, but Cole Matthews is 6-1 as he has beat Zargo and Woods. So I think in NCAA wrestling with folk style rules, Matthews should be able to take this matchup in a close 7-5 win. Next up is a very entertaining matchup at 149 between Austin Gomez and Sammy Sasso. Now both of these guys were highly ranked but took a quick upset earlier on in the season. Uh, but both of these guys, of course, have the ability to really put on a show. Sasso, of course, got second in 2021, and then he got fifth in 2022, while Gomez didn't place in his 2019 season, took a break, but then came back in 2022 and got fourth for Wisconsin. The last time these two have met, Gomez was able to beat Sasso twice, with Gomez beating him 8-5 in the Big Ten Finals and then the Constellation Semifinals in 2022-6-5. Uh, I expect Gomez to be able to hit another big move here, similar to how he beat Yanni, and probably take down Sasso here somewhere between 8 to 3 or 7 to 4. Next is Bryce Andonian versus Will Luan at 157 pounds. Andonian's a junior who got third at 149 last year, while Luan's a senior who got fifth at 157 last year for Michigan. Another thing to note is that Luan is a U17 world champion in 2017, while Andonian was a 2021 U20 world bronze medalist. So both these guys really successful, but they have crazy different offenses as Andonian does a lot of big moves, likes to break open matches, while Luan is a closer, a lot of close matches where he scores one or two takedowns to take the win. So I think this match is really just going to come down to if Andonian can break open the match with a big move, similar to the way Austin Gomez does. I think he'll be able to, and I see him winning here 10 to 7. Next is a huge matchup between Quincy Monday and David Carr at 165. Carr got first at 157 in 2021 and he got third in 2022, while Monday at 157 went 24 and 4 and he ended up taking second at the NCAAs. Their fathers have also competed against each other with Nate Carr uh, beating Kenny Monday three times, but then Kenny Monday beating Nate Carr three times as well. So their dads have gone three and three, and now they're gonna be wrestling off against each other. I think this match is gonna be pretty close. And they're both pretty entertaining wrestlers to watch, but both are pretty hard to score on as well. So it's really going to come down to who can get the first takedown. And I think that'll be Carr in this matchup. So expect him to win here 3-1. Next at 165 is a huge matchup between sophomores Keegan O'Toole and Dean Hamidi. Hamidi, he got 6th for Wisconsin in 2022, while O'Toole got 3rd in 2021 and then 1st in 2022. So in this matchup, O'Toole is definitely the favorite, but Keegan is a great wrestler very surgical, and if Hamidi can really get his offense going with his ankle picks, I could see him disrupting this matchup. However, I do think O'Toole will be able to win here 4-2. Next is the marquee matchup between NCAA champions. Carter Sirachi, a two-time NCAA champion who won in 2021 and 2022, and Mikhail Lewis, NCAA champion who won in 2019. 
This is going to be a crazy, crazy matchup. And I'm not really sure who's going to win this one. As the last time they wrestled, it was very, very close. With Mekhi Lewis losing by 15 seconds of riding time. So this is definitely going to be another one of those nail biters. Expected to go to overtime. But I think Starachi will have the edge here once again and beat Mekhi Lewis to go 2-0 in the series. Next at 184 is Parker Kekeisen versus Aaron Brooks. Now Aaron Brooks has been NCAA champion in 2021 and 2022, while Kekaisen got third in both of those years. One thing to note though is these guys have wrestled seven times, going all the way back to 2016. Uh, in all those matches though, Kekaisen has lost to Brooks, with three of those being by technical superiority. Recently though, the gap has closed a bit, so I think it'll be a close matchup here, probably 3-2 or 6-4 in favor of Aaron Brooks, 4 or 5-4. And then finally is Greg Kirkflit versus Anthony Cassiope. Cassiope, a two-time All-American who got 7th in 2022 and 3rd in 2021. And he's also a U23 World Champion. While Kirkflit is a two-time All-American who got 4th in 2022 and 7th in 2021. So these guys have met three times in the past two seasons with Cassiope winning in all three times. They first met at the third place match at Big Tens in 2021 where Cassiope majored him then at the Iowa duel, and then again at the semis of the Big Ten tournament. But the last match that they wrestled, Kirkfoot narrowed the margin and was winning 4-2 before he gave up a comeback to Cassiope and ended up losing in overtime. However, I think Kirkfoot will be able to win this one pretty convincingly. I see him winning here 7-3. So yeah, that's going to be our predictions for this year's NWCA All-Star Classic. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and sub for more wrestling content like this. Peace.